HMS Ganges, or Shotley Naval Training Establishment, is a decommissioned base situated on the Shotley Peninsula. It trained around 160,000 young men recruited into the Royal Navy over its service. Every teenage boy that passed through the site had to dangerously climb the ropes of its surviving landmark mast. The complex remains today abandoned at nature's mercy. We headed into the modern ruins to begin to understand its heritage. HMS Ganges began life as an actual training ship in 1821, but after 1904 it developed into a stone frigate, an onshore base. Structural works began and in 1907 the mast was taken from an old steamship, the HMS Cordelia. In the First World War, the establishment was responsible for completing 600 miles of anti-submarine nets and in 1916 was bombed by Zeppelins. By the Second World War, Ganges temporarily closed as a boys' training centre, instead functioning to train recruits drafted in only for wartime. The centre grew post-war and buildings continued to be added. Finally, in June 1976, the Admiralty decided to close the establishment and training was transferred to Cornwall. The swimming pool would have been a vital centre of training, as depicted here in this early 20th century footage. Today, it is one of the site's most impressive survivals. While some elements of the pool's interior have changed, the old footage reveals that it did not look vastly different at the end of its lifespan. The impressive tiling nods to its age. After seeing men through the rough seas of both world wars, today it has sadly fallen to decay like much of the site, having become exposed to the elements and left in a state of rapid deterioration. Paint peels from the walls. Vandals have marked the structure with graffiti, whilst nature paints the drained and stagnant surface of the pool with algae. As we wandered the building's colourful interior, its vibrant retirement from service appeared timeless, yet simultaneously limited by age. Around the swimming pool, various rooms stand vacant. The most impressive of these is the original changing rooms still bearing their classic white and green tiled colour scheme. Training at Ganges was reputedly tough, and naval service was not just a job, but a permanent lifestyle.
another room stands laying out as workshop. With documents, tools, nails, nuts and bolts sitting where they were left as foliage breaks through the floor. Next door, boilers, pipes and valves stand, never to be warmed again. Whilst the pool has become an aesthetic hotspot for photographers, there is arguably an even more hidden gem within the complex. Shotley Point Battery was built from 1863 before the naval establishment emerged and survives today recently having been cleared of undergrowth for the first time in years to uncover its full extent. It is the only surviving example of a mid-Victorian defensive battery in East Anglia. It was constructed to defend Felixstowe port and is surrounded by a dry ditch. Its three magazines initially served an embrasured carnet wall of 14 68-pounder cannons eventually replaced by 7-inch rifle muzzle-loading guns. Later, in 1891, these were replaced by two modern 10-inch gun pits in use until 1901. In 1904, it was amalgamated into the HMS Ganges site with the battery's right side demolished for accommodation. It was finally disarmed in 1911. We took a look around the gloomy darkness of the surviving magazines, complete with rusting light and wall fittings and flooring. After the naval school closed, Shotley Point Battery was partly used for police training and we found several spent shotgun cartridges in one of the magazine tunnels. Fortunately, the battery is listed and will be preserved into the future as a unique heritage asset. The future of the HMS Ganges school which surrounds the battery is less secure. A local museum seeks to preserve the memory of the life of the school. Its expansive grounds have been considered for the development of 300 homes, a sports park, shops and a doctor's surgery, with planning permission granted in 2015. These could be completed as early as late 2020 and fortunately current plans seek to incorporate and reuse some of the historic structures of the training school. The Ganges site is home to countless other surviving structures including Martello Towers, various blocks including a hospital and accommodation, wartime air raid shelter tunnels and a barrage balloon anchoring point from the Second World War. Despite the promising plans for a new life, concerns have still been voiced by locals over the increase in traffic 
the development might bring to the quiet town of Shotley Gate. As sun sets on HMS Ganges, we can only hope it will see a new dawn. <laughs>